Hey everyone, welcome back to Academically. Today we are diving into an exciting topic for all the aspiring pharmacists out there that is how to become a pharmacist in New Zealand. So if you are dreaming of working in the land of the long white clouds, watch this video till the end because we are going to break down all the details regarding the New Zealand OPRA exam and the eligibility criteria that you need to meet. Plus, we have got some awesome tips and a special promo for Academically that you do not want to miss. Alright, let's get started with the first tip. To be eligible for the New Zealand Opera exam, you need to have either a Bachelor of Pharmacy that is B Pharma or a Doctor of Pharmacy that is Pharm D degree. Simple enough, right? But not there's a bit more catch to it. You also need to be actively registered with the State Pharmacy Council in your home country to ensure that your credentials are up to date and well recognized. Now let's talk about the procedure. The first step is an initial assessment by the Pharmacy Council of New Zealand. They'll review your records to see if you are eligible to sit for the OPRA exam or not. So once you pass this assessment, you are all set to take the OPRA exam. This exam is conducted online, so you can take it from your chosen test center. It is held three times a year in March, July and November. Now it might sound challenging, but with the right preparation, you'll be ready to ace it. Check the Academically's special OPRA preparatory courses by clicking the link in the bio. Now, next up is the New Zealand Pharmacy Legislation course, that is NZPL. This course is crucial as it gives you an understanding of the professional, legal and ethical responsibilities for practicing in New Zealand. Now, enrollment for the NZPL course happens only once in a year. It's an online course with 10 modules over three months and costs you around $2,400. It's definitely worth the investment to get a solid foundation for your preparations. And once you have completed the NZPL course, the next step is to apply for the registration in the intern pharmacist scope of practice. Now, this allows you to gain practical experience under the supervision of a qualified pharmacist. Now, moving further, let's talk about the Evolve internship program. This program runs from February 1st to November 7th and offers hands-on training and support. You'll work full-time under experienced pharmacists. Finally, once you have cleared the exams and completed your internship, you will need to register with the Pharmacy Council of New Zealand and this will be the last step in your journey of becoming a registered pharmacist in New Zealand. And with that, that's a wrap on the process. But before you go, if you are looking for an expert guidance to help you with these steps, visit Academically. We offer personalized coaching to help you ace your exams and meet all the requirements with confidence. Click the link in the description to learn more about how Academically can support you on your journey to becoming a pharmacist in New Zealand. And we have saved the best news for the last. Academically would like to invite you all to our most anticipated event hosted by the CEO and founder of Academically, Dr. Akram Ahmed. The name of the event is MedConnect with Dr. Akram and you will have the chance to share all your doubts and queries with him in person at some of the most prestigious cities in India. The registration for the event is free and the dates are as follows. Chandigarh, 8th September, Pune, 22nd September, Hyderabad, 12th September, Cochin, 29th September from 10 a.m. onwards. And that's all for today's video. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe and hit the bell icon for more tips and updates. Thanks for watching and best of luck with your pharmacy career abroad. See you in the next video.